There are some places in the world that just have to be experienced for yourself, as no amount of words can truly define the exquisite beauty that unfolds before you. Welcome to Arabia's best kept secret, the Sultanate of Oman. Oman boasts stunning gems in the forms of the sapphire blue Arabian Sea, emerald green oases, golden sand dunes, and pearlescent white cities that warmly welcome you into the heart and soul of this magical country. Ancient forts dot the coastline and the many hills of the interior where you'll find serenity and reverence in the beauty of the Al Hajar Mountains. Or visit Salala to see for yourself the arid landscape magically transformed into lush lime green valleys with breathtaking waterways. Although being steeped in history, the modern and serene capital Muscat, just an hour's flight from Dubai, is a vivid contrast of ancient cultural heritage and modern style and architecture. Here you can explore forts, museums, souks and mosques, as well as experience Oman's more contemporary spirit. The coastline stretches over 3,000 kilometres and is abundant with many marine species. One of the best kept secrets in the diving world. The warmth of the Omani people will make you feel welcomed and genuinely part of their fascinating culture. Oman is special. This is the place where the first rays of sunlight touch Arabia. My ancestors crossed oceans to China and Africa, trading frankincense and myrrh, and built many castles for their well-being and prosperity. We love our land, its mountains, its deserts, the lush green colors, our waters are crystal clear, and the dolphins play with us. We welcome visitors all year round and they love our souks. We talk, listen, laugh and learn from each other. They tell us beauty has an address. Welcome to Oman, a place where kings and prophets once left their footprints. A place where you can marvel at ancient forts, castles and hidden treasures. A place where vast deserts just stretch on for days. Welcome to Oman. I've arrived in the Salala region of Oman, a unique country that is just an hour's flight from Abu Dhabi. I love a good story, and with so much history here, you don't have to go far to find one. Here lies the ancient ruins of Samaharam. This was a settlement established by the Pagans in 4th century BC. It was a base where they used to export frankincense to the Chinese, the Romans, the Sumerians. And I've got to say, just standing here right now gives me goosebumps thinking how old this place really is. It was said that Alexander the Great wanted to invade Arabia in order to control the world's frankincense trade. For 5,000 years, the aromatic resin tapped from the Boswellia trees was Arabia's most precious commodity. And Samaharam was where the famous frankincense trail ended. Once more valuable than gold, it was a gift of kings and often used in ancient ceremony to warn off evil spirits. And the smell? It's the smell of Oman. You would not think we're in the Middle East or surrounded by Arabian desert for that matter. But thanks to monsoonal rains, this beautiful little piece of paradise only blooms like this for a very short period of time every year. So in my books, that makes it extra special. But it's not just Salala's cooler weather or remarkable change in scenery that attracts travelers from far and wide. Venture into Oman's higher regions and you will find some stunning views. Over 25 million years ago, Oman was a part of Africa. Where I'm sitting right now would have been completely covered by the ocean. And during that time, the erosion has caused these amazing canyons throughout the land. And it's unique views like this that give Oman an edge on the rest of the Middle East. 
From Salala, I ventured north to a region called Misandam, an incredible place where over millions of years, mountains have risen from the ocean, revealing evidence of ancient sea life. I'm in an area called Jebel Harim. It's about 1,600 metres high and about 50 kilometres from the coast, which makes this wall next to me pretty special. It's a wall of fossilised coral estimated to be around 250 million years old. That's crazy. From the creatures that lived in the sea to the boats that sail it. This is Sur, a city that has special maritime significance, not just to Oman, but the rest of the world. And down there is a shipyard that still builds dows. A dow's a type of ship that is said to date back to around 3000 BC. What do you say we take one for a spin? The Persian Gulf has been at the centre of power struggles for centuries. Many an empire has risen and fallen on its waves. These days, you're more likely to see fishermen and pleasure seekers, either looking for big catches or beautiful places to snorkel and scuba dive. Whether it's surfing, snorkeling or fishing, I love being out on the water. And with the beautiful Omani coastline as the backdrop, well, it doesn't get any better than this. to end my experience in Oman, hanging off the front of a dow with a pot of the biggest dolphins I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, there's so many places to go in the Middle East, but this place stands above the rest. It's a place where the wealth doesn't lie within the towering skyscrapers, but within the magic and beauty of a land born long ago. This is Oman, or better known as the Jewel of Arabia. Oman, a gem of the Middle East and a country with more to offer than most. You see, in this day and age, when everyone's connected and there's a growing distance between you and your peace of mind, you've got to stop, breathe and close that gap. Find yourself a new experience that puts the sparkle back in your eyes and the wind back in your sails. You see, life's like a shooting star, folks. If you blink, you'll miss it. Oman's capital city, Muscat, is just a short one-hour flight from Abu Dhabi. It's a beautiful port city with history that dates back to the sixth millennium. But it's rich in more ways than one. Surrounded by jagged mountains in the Gulf of Oman, there is a cool contrast where old meets new. Muscat is home to one of the world's most impressive religious structures, the Grand Mosque. It was opened in 2001 and has space for 20,000 worshippers. But it's not just the exterior grounds that'll captivate you. Wait till you have a look inside. The Grand Hall is massive, and it has to be, because inside is the second largest hand-woven carpet in the world. It weighs an incredible 21 tonnes. But what's more impressive is the 14 metre tall crystal chandelier. It weighs eight tonnes and it has over a thousand light bulbs. Whether you're a spiritual person or not, you cannot help but feel at peace in this place. But if you prefer to find solace in a more natural environment, maybe cool off at the same time, how about this special little spot? Just a few hours drive from Muscat. Can you believe this? An oasis right in the middle of a desert. The history here was difficult to comprehend, from geological formations to long lost civilizations. This is the very ancient and quite spooky Wadi Alain. In this area, you'll find these burial tombs believed to be around 5,000 years old. It's believed that back in the day, people of special importance or religious leaders were buried here alongside some important artefacts so that when they were laid to rest, their bodies and those artefacts were transferred into the afterlife. Just 
just walking around, cruising into town. Camel. This is Nizwa. It's the cultural capital of Oman. But here at the Souk, you can buy silver, hunting daggers and rifles. And cattle. Overlooking the Souk is Nizwa Fort. And as you can see, there's an awesome view of the rest of the city. This fort in particular is the largest tower-shaped fort in all of the Arab world. It's armed with 25 cannons and a 360 degree panoramic view. So you could say they were pretty well armed for any incoming invasions. Oman souks or markets are great places to find anything Omani, like frankincense, silk, souvenirs, even antiques. But there are two things which Oman is particularly famous for that draw tourists to this maze of walkways, silver and gold. You can't leave Oman without taking something beautiful home. Oman is more than just a tourist destination. It's an experience. And since I was in the Middle East, I figured I should really check out the desert. My guide Ali was happy to oblige, suggesting a sweet place to see the sun set over the dunes. But first, we had to get there. I gotta tell you, I've been charmed by this country since the day I got here. From these golden sand dunes down to the turquoise seas. I've only been here a week, and already I'm gonna take home a lifetime of memories, and more than enough inspiration for a new song. Cause it's just the reason why I never wanna leave. Still I can hear the tale. Whisper through the tall palm trees The footsteps of kings and prophets Through hidden treasures and sun-scorched deserts Oh la 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 Under a blanket of Arabian stars 